In this video, we'll go over California student data protection laws. First up is SOPIPA, which is the Student Online Personal Information Protection Act and is also known as Number 22584 of the California Business and Professions Code. The purpose of this law is to regulate the operators of education applications in their use of student data. It prohibits advertisement within the application and mandates that student profiles within the program can only be used for school purposes. This law underlines that student information can't be sold and restates the entities to which it can be provided. So PIPA dictates that application operators must employ security procedures to keep any collected student information secure, but that if a school wants their information deleted, the vendor must comply. Finally, this law states when information must be provided. The California Public Records Act, or PRA, outlines which information possessed by public agencies is to be considered public information and how a consumer can obtain it. Any records relating to public business whose release is not restricted by legislation must be provided to a member of the public as long as the request for information is fairly specific and the records can be retrieved with reasonable effort. Some records which may not be released would be, for example, those not normally deemed necessary to retain, staff contact information, testing materials, tech security records, and electronically collected personal information. From these federal and state laws, California Education Codes 49073.1 and 49073.6 were drafted to clarify data regulations for California schools. Ed Code 49073.1 covers Assembly Bill 1584 and requires that if an application collects personally identifiable information on a student, the vendor must sign a California Student Data Privacy Agreement. Basically, in contracts between districts and software vendors, it is agreed that the district owns and controls student records and stipulated that the vendor can't use any student information in any manner not specifically approved by the district. Parents and guardians must have the ability to review any personally identifiable information, and students must be able to download anything they've created within the program. Further, the vendor must detail both the actions that will be taken to keep student information safe and their procedures for notifying parents and guardians in the case of a data breach. It must be agreed that the vendor won't retain student records once the contract has expired, that the program is FERPA compliant, and that student information will not be used for targeted advertising. Ed Code 49073.6 is related to student information collected from social media. If a district wants to begin culling social media for posts by and about their students, parents and students must be notified ahead of time and given the opportunity to discuss the proposal. If such a program is implemented, the information it can retrieve is limited to school and student safety issues. Students must have access to anything collected relating to themselves and that information must be destroyed within a year of the student leaving the district or prior to the student's 19th birthday, whichever comes first. The operator of the program used to retrieve the information cannot use or sell any of the information it collects and faces restrictions on the destruction of the information. Some applications have student data privacy agreements on file which authorize their use statewide and removes the need for any further research before implementing the application. If there is no SDPA, 
the end user licensing agreement must be carefully reviewed to make sure that a program meets all student data privacy laws and district policies. Even if the app is selected from one of the various app stores, it must be evaluated and deemed to be in compliance with all student privacy laws.